Red light cameras were installed at intersections in Stockton 10 years ago in an effort to reduce collisions. But tonight, the city says the cameras have not made a difference. KCRA 3's Melinda Meza is live in Stockton now with more. Well, you can see these cameras right here in Stockton all around town, but they are no longer activated. Why? Police say these cameras do not help cut down on collisions. Stockton police have long been concerned about red light runners. There are certain intersections here in our city that are prone to have more vehicle accidents. So that's why 10 red light cameras were placed throughout the city 10 years ago, but now those cameras are deactivated. About a year ago, we started looking at the effectiveness of the red light camera system here in the city of Stockton. And at the end of February of this year, we determined two things. One, it wasn't cost effective for the city to operate them. And two, they really weren't reducing traffic collisions at those intersections. One of the most active cameras was in this intersection at Martin Luther King Boulevard and B Streets. The signs are still up that read photo in force. Another busy intersection, March Lane and Pacific. The cameras are still here, but not activated. Drivers we talked with were surprised the cameras are not even working. No, I think that's ridiculous. I think they should keep them in. Jennifer Texan says she thinks the cameras promote safety. The cameras, like when they take pictures and stuff of them, I think honestly, like you can catch people that are running red lights and stuff, and then it causes, you know, less accidents. People make people think twice about, you know, trying to run a red light or whatever, but. They run them anyway, so. <laughs> the camera company Redflex says Stockton's red light cameras detected between 6,000 to 20,000 violations a year. Now, 10 to 50 percent of those violators did receive citations in the mail, but a traffic officer would have to look at that video at his desk. He would have to look at the license plate number, the picture, try to figure out exactly who that driver is. Instead, those traffic officers are now out on the streets looking for red light runners. Now, we did contact the city manager of Stockton to see how much money the city is saving by deactivating these cameras, but we were told it would take 10 days to get that answer. That's the latest here in Stockton. I'm Melinda Meza, KCR. Three news. All right.